Hello my lovelies, and welcome back to another round of Let's Play the Binding of Isaac Repentance. Now, what I've been obsessively trying to do with this game, because it's just an obsessive game. I mean, Isaac is like, I, I think Kit and I, when we discussed the uh, Binding of Isaac, uh, many, many moons ago, we called it almost like the perfect game, in the sense that you just can't put it down. It's always that just, you know, just that one more go thing. That is what, that is the very core of the appeal of Isaac. You just, even when you keep failing and failing and failing, you can't put it down. It's just like, oh, just one more round, just one more run through. Let's see if I can do it. And that's what I've been trying to do with this new version, with Repentance. Trying to access some of the new content to get some of the new endings, the new characters, the new flaws and bosses. It's really bloody difficult though. They have made, they've done everything in their power to try and make this a new version of Isaac. So to make it genuinely challenging for those of us who've played like all the, the previous versions until our thumbs are nothing but bloody broken nubs of splintered bone basically, which is what this game demands of you. Um, it doesn't want this to just be another version of Isaac. There are... there's so much new stuff, there's so much that's different. Even in the base game... oh, hello! Odd Mushroom, that's a very good find this early on. I'm, uh, I'm quite pleased with that, I've got to say. That's very good this early on. I am very, very happy with that. I mean, luck is a big, big factor in Isaac. It always has been. But I would say it's an even bigger factor now. I think luck is actually a much more important statistic than it used to be. Okay, that's not too bad. As the curse rooms go, that's not too bad. Especially one for the first floor. This is, this is looking vaguely promising. It's okay. We've got a bomb. We've got a key. We've got a reasonable amount of money. A reasonable amount of health. Thus far... This is good. Oh, hello! Gluttony's a good find this early on. Gluttony can give you... And he has! Now, we could either use that... No, we'll take the health. We could have used that as a reroll pedestal. And under other circumstances, I might have done. But health is really important, considering what we're going to try and do. We're going to be going down the alternate path. We're going to be going down the alternate floors. We're going to be trying to get to the corpse, basically. And to kill that big, big boss. The ultra boss that's at the end of the corpse. Which is one of the hardest bosses in all of Isaac, I've found. I've faced it quite a few times now. And I haven't even come close. Oh, that's very good. That's excellent. I mean, this is turning out to be a good first floor. It really is. Actually, uh, a first floor that is somewhat beyond good, to be perfectly honest. This is magnificent. I will come back for the sun card. I will get the sun card, just not yet. I need... Uh, I'm going to be using the devil on the boss because it's a very good damage upgrade. Okay, we'll take it. It's not the best that could have been in a red chest, but we'll take it. Yeah, Devil is basically, it's a one-shot Book of Belial, so it just gives you um, a damage upgrade just for this room, just for the room you use it on. So it's pretty good, especially against the first boss, who's usually quite weak when it comes to health. Excellent. Oh, and a cube of meat. Uh, I won't re-roll that. Cube of meat is excellent. It's a good uh, it's a good damage item. You can use it to run into enemies with. And it's also a good defensive item. So, yeah, we'll keep that. And we'll be going down the alternate path, obviously. We're not in too bad a shape, actually, for taking on the alternate floors, as hard as they are. We're not in too... Dross 1. Okay. We'll use the sun, because that will give us an advantage. We'll, kn we'll at least know where we're going. It also means, though, if we are going to access the the next secret floor, we are going to have to get bombs. We're going to have to find a way of getting bombs on this floor, which may be tricky. As I said in the last Isaac video, um, consumables are actually much rarer in this version of the game. Bombs and keys do not drop as much. Um, we do have the petrified poo, however, which might help in that regard. It will give us money, which means we can purchase bombs, and we may just get bombs full stop. Okay, we will probably re-roll in here. Ooh, that's a damage item, yeah. 
Hemalacria is actually a, a fairly decent damage upgrade. And one thing I have learned, the boss at the end of the corpse, the only way to defeat it is with damage that's ridiculous. You need to have, like, damage multipliers on top of damage multipliers on top of damage multipliers in order to defeat it. So that's what we're going for. We are going to want, if we're doing this, if we're going to go for it, we're going to want, like, Mum's Knife... Ipecac, Polyphemus, all stacked on top of one another. That's the only way to do it. It is such a difficult boss. It has so much health and puts out so much damage. You've got to defeat it quickly and efficiently. Otherwise, it's just going to kill you. It will wear you down. No matter how much health you have, it will just wear you down. So that's what we're going to go for. And this is a good start. It's not what we. It's not there yet. But it's a good start. It's a damage upgrade, and that's good. We've got two bombs. That's great. Hopefully, we'll get some more. Well, obviously, we need to keep two for the end of the next floor so we can access the mines area. Either the mines or the ash pit. Whichever one, it's fine. Doesn't matter which one. Okay, what have we got here? Luck up. That's good. That's good. Oh, I hate this boss. But it's good that we're facing it here and not in the next floor, to be honest. Um, this is a tricky boss. It's definitely one of the harder of the new bosses on this floor. Very difficult to avoid its attack patterns. It does have this habit of filling the, the screen with bullets. I mean, that's another thing, actually. A bullet hell is much more of a thing in Isaac now. A lot of the new bosses are bullet hell bosses, like this one. Ooh, so no deal with the devil for this, I'd assume. Nope, I'll re-roll that. That's much better. Much better. Again, upgrading the health for when we do get the deals with the devil. So we can spend it. Sacrifice it. Oh, that's better. Downpour is easier than the dross floors. So that's good. It's got the easier bosses. That's for damn sure. So. Let's see, shall we? What's it going to give us? Is the uh, RNG going to be kind? Probably not. It's not in its nature to be kind. That said, it's giving us a hell of a lot of money. Uh, I'll take it. Sulfuric Acid is good. It's another damage upgrade. And it will also destroy rocks. When we get an Acid Tears, when we get Acid Tears, it will destroy rocks as well. So that's pretty good. Ow. Gonna have to avoid that as much as we can. The uh, the random damage. We're gonna have to avoid that. Still need a few more damage upgrades. We're still not quite there. Okay, there's the mirror. I was playing earlier and I actually made. I had um, Ipecac and I I was doing pretty well. It was a good run. We got loads of health. We've got Ipecac, which is an amazing damage bonus. And I accidentally shot the mirror. Which, basically, if you if you shoot the mirror with an exploding uh, weapon, it destroys it. It breaks it. So you actually cannot access the, the, um, the alternate area. Which means you can't do... You can't access um, the other floors, unfortunately. You basically can't get the knife handle. So you'll never get to the areas you need to get. It, it was a son of a bitch. It really was. But that's one of the things that does happen. Oh, that sucks. I don't want that. Uh, should I re... Um, I won't... Um, sh yeah, we'll re-roll it. Okay, oh, that's good. That's good. That could see us... That could see us well, the Steam Sale. Depending on what we get from now on. That could actually be really useful. Probably worth it. Probably worth it. Oh! Now that that was another that was a good example of why the sulfuric tears are really good. That gave us um, access to the secret room, so all to the good, yeah. Getting a lot of money. Ooh, this could be good, or it could be very bad, depending. Full health is good. I'm excited, I'm excited is neither here nor there. Paralysis is one to avoid. I can see forever is excellent. That's an excellent uh, pill. 
I mean, I will say, the pills are generally, as I said in the last video, in Repentance, the pills are, like, default bad. And you usually have to get, you, you have to increase your luck stat or get an item to make them good. But this run has given us nice ones thus far, so I'm quite pleased about that. Okay, that's good, I'll take it. Speed and range is good, and I'll open the way to the alternate floor now. So I don't get tempted to waste my bombs elsewhere. Ah uh ha -huh. Good. That's very good. Uh, yeah, yeah, as they go. Very decent. Very pleased. <laughs> Thus far, this hasn't been a terrible floor for us. Oh, hell. Oh, that is very lucky. The, the small rock is an amazing damage upgrade. That's very lucky. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to do now, barring, yeah, killing ourselves and going going through the mirror. So let's go do that, shall we? I just need to get the knife handle, so I'm not going to take any unnecessary risks. I'm just going to head... I'm going to make a beeline for the, um, the item room. I'm not going to muck about trying to do the boss or anything like that. I found that uh, that's a good move generally, unless you can be absolutely certain of doing the boss without getting hit, it's, wor it's not worth it. It's not worth bothering doing it in this mode, because of course you have to bear in mind you're the lost at this point. You are the lost and one hit will kill you. There's, there's no nothing that can protect you in that regard. Knife handle, all good, all good, um, I'll take this. Iwaz is not the best card under these circumstances. We don't want to skip floors. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Let's, uh... Oh, can we go... Can the ch Is the challenge room open? I don't think it is. I think it's closed to us at the moment. But it's worth checking. You never know... No. You might get something good out of it, but... No. Not at this point. Right, I think it's time to do the boss, yeah? Which is this way. I was going in entirely the wrong direction, of course. I mean, these floors really demonstrate the graphical upgrade in Repentance. The reflections in the water are amazing. Okay, down we go. We're actually making good speed as well. Making very good time. Oh, the ash pit, so a harder room. Ooh. Oh, no. Do not want it. That will ruin the run. So I'm going to re-roll that. Okay, that could be really useful, actually. Do not want the cursed eye. Do not want the cursed eye. It's a shit item. It's, it, it will... It's ruined so many runs for me, that, that item. It's an item I will never take in a million years. I'll take the punching bag because it's hilarious. but And very useful, actually. But... The Cursed Eye? No, do not want it. For those of you who don't know, the Cursed Eye, it gives you a charged shot, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but if you're hit while you're charging, it has the effect of teleporting you to a random room. And it, it has ruined so many runs for me. Mostly when you get hit from a boss, like you're doing a charge shot, you get hit from a boss and it teleports you out and heals the boss. So you've got to get back to it and then kill it all over again. It's a pain. Do not like. Do not like at all. But yeah, the punching bag is good. Punching bag is a, a fairly decent item. Nothing. The cards might be good. Worth picking up and using just once, you know. Death is okay. I can use death in the boss, so uh, it's alright. I will take all of those. That's brilliant. Okay. Mm. Oh, it's these. Okay, this isn't so bad. Oh, even the cards don't work until you've destroyed their, um, their exoskeletons. They've got a uh, sort of fossilized outer skeleton, these guys. So you've got to use the bombs to blow it off. And it's actually rather difficult. As you can see, they're quite mobile. There we go. That's the real boss. That Those, those sort of like horrible, fleshy interiors. That's the real boss. 
Oh, oh, oh. These flies are difficult to kill with this, uh, this attack pattern. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is quite tricky, actually. Okay. We're gonna have to catch it. There we go. That's what we like. There we are. Ooh, yes, pentagram. We're not gonna re-roll that. Pentagram is a damage upgrade, usually one you have to exchange health for in a deal with the devil because it's really good, so that's brilliant. It's exactly what I said we were looking for, you know when I was saying earlier we need damage uh, multipliers upon damage multipliers upon damage multipliers? That's exactly what I'm talking about. So we've got, we've got the rock, we've got the small rock, we've got um, the pentagram, we've got this... Um, blood-based attack, whose name I can't remember, Hemo something or other. So, yeah, I mean, it's not enough. It's still not enough yet. For any other run, it would be. We've got the Sulfuric Tears as well. It's still not enough. For any other run, it would be. If we were just doing a normal Isaac run. Oh, God's Flesh. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take God's Flesh. Um, it, it gives you a shrink shot that shrinks normal enemies and makes them very weak. So that's pretty good. I've got a cup of tea, by the way. These enemies are rather difficult, actually. Oh, there's something else in here. There we are. I love the ash pit. You see, like, the, the screen of ash passing across everything? It's great fun. Love it. Everything in this floor is lethal. Oh, that's very useful. That's very useful. That means we can just willy-nilly try and find secret rooms and secret chambers. Oh, this is this is a tricky floor, actually. You've got to kill all of these guys at once, otherwise they don't die. No, that's brilliant. We can find every secret room. We can blow up every chest, everything. Because we've got unlimited bombs on this floor, so that's very good. We can also use it as a weapon. Nope, nothing yet. This would be enough. This would be... If we were doing just like a descent into, say... Um, oh, into Sheol to kill the Lamb or Satan. Or if we were doing like the normal Cathedral to kill Isaac and to do the toy chest. This would be a one run. We'd, we've got enough damage. We've got enough health. It would be a one run. But trying to do the corpse to do Gehenna and do the corpse and to do that boss. No, we're, we're nowhere near yet. There's no no chickens to be counted here, I can tell you. Yay! There we go. Oh. That's... Mm, that could be useful. We'll play it a few times. We could get some soul hearts out of this or we could get some lucky cards maybe. There's also the chance of an item pedestal. I'm not going to go too far with it, though, because I still want to buy stuff from the shop, so... Mm. Oof. God, they, they've really made the new enemies as, as difficult as possible. They've gone really hard with making the new enemies as problematic as possible, and that's good. I mean, that's really good. Still looking for those sweet, sweet damage upgrades, though. We're gonna, ideally, we're gonna want something like Brimstone, like Mum's Knife. You know, some one of the biggest damage upgrades in the game. That's what we're gonna want. It's the only way of killing that damn boss. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, worth it. We've got loads of keys, so... Oh, that might be useful, actually. That could, yeah, let's use it here. Then we can get through into the curse room without being hurt. Very useful. These guys are hard to hit with this. <laughs> More luck, another luck upgrade. That's going to come in you very, very handy. Okay, I think... I think we're done with this floor, aren't we? Uh, uh, box of friends. No, it, it can be useful, but it's it's nothing, really. Hmm. Anything else? Let's have a look. Double active card. Ooh. Oh, that could be useful. 
That could be very, very useful. We That gives us more frequent cards and superior cards. So that's pretty good. That's a very good transformation. I mean, another damage upgrade we might be looking for, I doubt we'll get it, is Guppy. Guppy is a fantastic damage upgrade, but I doubt we'll get it on this run. Ooh, portals. Hmm, not so sure. Ooh, that's Monstro's Lung. That is... Uh, yeah, we'll take it. That's a calculated risk, though, because we've already got a charge shot. So that, look how slow we charge up now. But the damage we do is going to be insane. That's a calculated risk. We are now at risk because of how slow we, we charge up. Ooh, yes. This is, this is an interesting one. This is very interesting. It's going to take us ages to charge up to kill things, which puts us at risk. It means that there's more chance that we're going to get hit during that charge period. But the damage we do is going to kill pretty much everything it touches. Even the bosses are going to die in a few hits with this. So, yeah. Calculated risk. With that. No, we want the poo. The petrified poo is just too good. Ooh, hello. Very nice. What's this? Money. We'll take it. We've still got some work to be done in the shop, so that's good. Teleport out so we don't get damaged. I mean, look. Everything. Even these these enemies are quite tanky, but they're just melting before us. So that's good. And we're doing an acid shot with every shot. So that's good. That's really good, actually. Yeah. No, th this is excellent. We made the right choice here. Again, it's still not enough. I would say it's still not enough to kill to deal with that boss. We still need something like Mum's knife to make it worthwhile. Which, by the way, in context with all of these upgrades, is going to be a bit wild. It's going to be <sighs> shiny rock is good. Shiny rock is really good, but still not as good as the poo. It's a strange, strange situation. When you've got to make that calculation in your head, what's better, a shiny rock or a petrified poo? It's the kind of conversation that only Isaac leads you to, really. Ew. These enemies are pains. They leave, they swell up and leave like blood hanging in the air that can damage you, so you be a little careful with them. Oh, come on. I want Mum's knife, or something like Mum's knife, anyway. There are certain enemies that this is going to be really tricky against. Enemies that multiply, this is going to give them chance to spawn. So, while we charge up, so that's going to be a problem. The Emperor, oh, that's excellent. The Empress is a brilliant card. It gives you the Whore of Babylon effect, just for one room, obviously. But still, very good. Okay, nearly there. Nearly there. <laughs> I like the way the blood fell around us there, like rain. Okay. So what do we need to do? Oh, we need to... There we go. Yay! What's in here? Anything good? Ooh! Uh, we can do better than that. Yeah, no, that's a... Uh, you know, re-roll pedestals are going to be worth their weight in gold. That's the trick of playing as Isaac, you see. That is the trick, because he gets the dice right away. It's making the best use of your re-roll pedestals. If you're going to do this floor... You've got to play the game. You've got to sort of min-max. That's good. That's very good. You've got to min-max to a certain degree. You've got to gamble. You've got to do the deals with the devil. You've got to get as many re-roll pedestals as you... Nope, that shit. Don't want it. Don't want any... I mean, it, under other circumstances, that might be good. But I don't want it right now. Ah, that's good. Fast bombs are pretty good. And it gives us more bombs, so that's not bad. Still could have done with a damage upgrade, but... It's fine. We've still got plenty of potential on this floor. Uh, the boss is still to come. We may get a deal with the devil. Yet, you never know. We've got a soul heart, so that's possible. We may even find something like a library or something like that, which is, you know... With Isaac, it's one of the best things you can find. Because it gives you multiple reroll pedestals. And you might even get one of the better books, like... Um, uh, the Book of Belial, excellent. The Satanic Bible, absolutely amazing. 
Um, Book of Secrets is good. Book of Shadows is is okay. Most of the books are good, actually. I mean, there's only there's only a few really bad ones, like Monster Manual and uh, How to Jump. They're they're shit tier. They are reroll pedestals and nothing else. Okay, so we've got another reroll. I suppose we should do the boss first, given that. And we have got the Empress as well, so that's pretty good. Have we found have we found our item room yet? Not sure. Oh, it's this guy. Actually, with this setup, he's going to be pretty easy. I mean, he's, he's a big target. And he's fairly static as well. So, yeah, not too bad. Look at him melt. We've taken away more or less half of his health with one shot. Yeah, that's pretty good. Look at him melt. That's brilliant. Oh, still not there, though. It's still not what we want. Ooh, gotcha. Oh, that's brilliant. Yes, I will take the PJs. That is a fantastic item. I mean, if I could get permanent Whore of Babylon, that would make my day. Because that is a damage upgrade beyond damage upgrades. It's fantastic Whore of Babylon. Very difficult to make use of, though. Because you need, some, you need a very particular build. You need a particular set of items to make it work. You need something that gives, that generates either soul or black hearts. Because you can't run with red hearts on it. It just doesn't work. It's very good for the lost. It's very good with the lost. Hmm. Okay, so we've got to go get the knife piece now. Which is always a tricky proposition. Never an easy thing, this one. Uh-oh. It's so creepy, this. I love this. I love the fact that there's these weird alternate secret floors and places that are, like, off the beaten track. It's absolutely wonderful. It's a very clever way of introducing even more mystery into what is essentially an, ad an adventure game. You know, it's a, it's a game about secrets and mysteries. And also it introduces even more sub-layers to Isaac's subconscious, right? Uh-oh. Like, for example, this thing. This is Mum. This is uh, one of the many, many, many ways in which Isaac sees his mother, yeah? He sees her as a monster, yeah? Because she is. She's an abusive monster. That's the point, right? We are in Isaac's subconscious here. That's why everything is portrayed in this very sort of kiddie way, right? It's, um, it's drawings. It's like drawings that Isaac is doing of the things that scare him, yeah? Of the things that cause him anxiety. And one of, one of the, the, the key things in that regard is his mother. It's why his mother manifests in so many monstrous ways. I mean, there's the actual boss mother as well, which occurs in many different ways in the new game. Uh, there's Mum's Heart, there's It Lives, right? Yeah, there's so much stuff. And in this version, there's even more. There's the big monster at the end of the corpse, right? Which is another manifestation of Mother. And I think there are even more, actually. Um, in, in Repentance, there are even more manifestations of Mother. Ooh, we got hit by it then. But that's not too bad. We're actually okay. We've got loads of health. We're okay. We're going to get out. There we, there we go. Excellent. So now we can go down to um, either the necropolis... Not the necropolis. The, uh, the Is it the crypt or, Ge or Gehenna? Either way is fine. What have we got in here? Anything? Eh, no. Nothing really that significant. That knife is a good damage dealer as well, by the way. If it hits enemies, it generally kills them. What's that noise? Up, oh, down we go. One of the harder of the secret floors. The mausoleum. Ooh. There's potential here. We'll come back to that. We will come back to that. Oh. If we get um, a little bit more disposable health, we'll come back to that. Oh, speaking of, excellent. That's lovely. 
again, another thing we're going to need is health, just as much as we can get. As much as we can muster, because that boss, the boss at the end of the corpse, can kill you so, so quickly. It just wears you down. Even if you've got tons of health, it can kill you. But everything here in the mausoleum uh, and Gehenna is so, so difficult. It, all the enemies here are upgraded versions of enemies we've faced in other floors. Like, these are the brains from... Um, they, they occur on various floors, but they occur mostly on the womb. Oh, God's flesh proving its worth there, shrinking the little zombie guy, look. These are zombies, which you can find on almost any floor. Um, but they are much more powerful because they give... They spawn other enemies, right? God, the music down here is great. Oh, I can't see what it is. God damn it. Anemic. Uh, it's not that great. Anemic is not a good item. Uh, except with very, very, very particular builds. If I could see what that was, I would have re-rolled it. That's for damn sure. Ooh, look at these guys. That said, I mean, I'm, I don't want to be too harsh on, on Anemic. It can be good. Basically, if you get hit on a room, you start leaving a toxic blood trail. It can be good. Oh, that's that's very lucky. I still could do with a, um, a health mul uh, multiplier. Like um, a book of... Uh, not a book of a lie, that's a damage multiplier. Um... A satanic bible, something like that. That would be most welcome. In fact, satanic bible is always welcome. That is one of the few items I would give up the dice for. The dice is so, so good. It's one of the best items in the game, the six-sided die. But the satanic bible is one of the few I would give it, I would give up for, I would give it up for. Because it's just so good. God, the music is great, isn't it? Mind you, the music's always been good in Isaac. Ever since it was a Flash game, the music has been good in Isaac. Ooh, can I can I get that? I need. God, look how slow we charge. That's terrible, isn't it? Oh no, so no acid in that. Let's just bomb it. We've got a, sur a, a surplus of bombs. Oh hello. Ah, oh, latch key is kind of useless at this point. We've already got a surplus of keys. Um, and keys... Oh, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. You need to kill all of these at once. So... And we don't charge quick enough, so this is going to be... This is going to be tricky. We're there. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. We've not almost worn them down. Worn out their regenerations. So that was good. That was good. Death is excellent. Again, save that for the boss. Nope. Not going doing anything in there. Uh-oh. These guys are little poltergeists, but they're psychic. They can actually drag... Look, they drag items towards themselves and chuck them at you. So they're very, very unpleasant little, um, little poltergeists. Uh-oh. Oh, not again. Oh, this is going to be tricky, because they're hard to hit with this charge, um... With this particular charge tiers. It's very, very tricky. What have we got here? Oh, that's good. Range up is good. I'll take it, you know. Any upgrades we can get at this point, we'll take it. What have we got in the shop? Oh, it's greed. Only minor greed. He's going to just die. I mean, he's going to be so dead like that. Yeah, one shot. But the luck is, is worth it. As I say, luck in Repentance, it used to be a bit of a... It never used to be that great a stat, to be honest. It didn't used to be that significant, but in in Repentance, it's probably one of the, the most significant stats, depending on what you're trying to do. Oh, are there any more? Yeah, there's a couple more. One more flopping about there. Oh, God's Flesh! Did you see that? Brilliant! Yeah, God's Flesh is really doing work this time round. Very pleased. Oh, not a nice room. Not a nice room at all. These guys are okay as long as you've got range. 
if they get close, they do that to you, so you've got to be really careful. They're like Resident Evil monsters, aren't they, these guys? Bloody hell. Although, my punching bag there is doing work. Attracting them while I deal with this one? That's brilliant. Well done, punching bag. Uh-oh. Bah! Yeah, you can make really good use of the punch. Oh, he's he's tricky, this one. This one is tricky. And he's going to be tricky because of the charge time. This is good. This one, this could do for us, actually. I'm not kidding. This boss could do for us. So we're going to have to be really careful. He's got a lot of attacks that fill the screen. Um, like this one, for example. This does like a multiple brimstone. Uh, you need to be outside of the pattern of the bonfires. Actually, I really like this boss. He's uh, one of my favourites of the new bosses. He's an occult boss, which is always going to do it for me. Look at him sewing his... Uh... Oh, we got caught right in the, uh, in the crossfire there. Yeah, that went well. Toothpick, yes! Damage upgrade, that's brilliant. Oh god, you know, yeah, I'll take it. Mom's knife! Oh, yes! Okay, this is good. Health is bad. Health is bad. We still need health. But this is good. Now we can do it. In terms of damage, we can do it. Everything we touch now is just going to melt. Bosses, normal enemies, anything. All we need is health. That's all we need. So we, we can do this now. I'm most pleased. This is mad. I mean, in terms of damage, this is insane. If you could see the damage multipliers we've got, this is one of the best runs I've ever had in terms of damage. Bar none. Okay. Yeah, everything we touch is just going to die, which is wonderful. The problem, of course, with Mum's knife is aiming it. It's very precise. It's not like, say, Ipecac, which, you know, you can just lob and it will kill things. That said, wow, was that a good deal with the devil. Look at that. Ah, just brilliant. I mean, the health may not be an issue. We're doing so much damage, it may not be an issue. It's only going to be an issue when we get to that boss in the corpse. Oh, hello. This could be good. This could be really good. What are you going to give us? What are you going to spawn for us? Anything good? Yep. Excellent. Health upgrade. Exactly what we want. I don't think this guy... I don't think he spawns an item pedestal, does he? He does spawn consumables, though, which is quite nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll, we'll leave them lying around because we may be able to make use of that. Look at that. Just one-shotting everything we come in contact with. It's brilliant. That's the kind of Isaac run you want. Believe me, ladies and gents, that's what you want. It's rare these days. It's much rarer. Uh, no, not worth it. Uh, no, we can do better than that. We can do better than that. Two of clubs? Meh, it's fine. Oh shit, this is a nasty room. These nun-like things, they project fields around other enemies, so you have to kill them first. Whoa, 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 whoa. you leave me alone, you. He's strong, isn't he? There we are. Gotta avoid that thing. Ooh, again... Pretty nasty room, this one. Love the music here. Yep. Ah, thought we might get away with that, but no. Okay, let's do it. It's Mum. Mum is gonna melt. Look at that. And this is the upgraded version of Mum as well. This is the difficult one. That's exactly what we want. And we know we don't want to go down to the womb. We want to use the knife to open this. There we go. And then we're going to fight the upgraded mum's heart. This is a hard fight, but with our knife, she's just going to die. Yeah, that was brilliant. Out we go. And here we are in the corpse. Wonderful. 
Love all this secret stuff. Love it to bits. Ooh, this is this is going to be tricky now. Might be worth gambling a bit, you know. We've got the money for it. It might be worth it. Even with our upgrades, this is going to be a, a tricky floor. And the boss is going to be a pain. So, uh, we are going to make it by the skin of our teeth, if we make it at all. The corpse is like a... It's, a, it's an alternative womb. And as the name suggests, it's very Resident Evil. Everything here is dead and rotting and disgusting. It's the Thanatos to the, uh, what I suppose would be the Eros of the, of the womb, although that's pretty gross, to be honest. And everything here is actually a sort of twisted, upgraded version of enemies from the womb, which is kind of cool. Ah! Troll bomb! Leave me alone. Health is still a concern. Look at that thing, that's gross. Ugh, what are these? Ouch, thank you. Ow, god damn it. God, we could we could really do with a health upgrade of some description. Hmm. We are sort of running on fumes health wise. So I'm gonna I am gonna gamble a bit. Because what we might be able to do is get the blood bag or something like that. Which would be great, because that's a very, very nice health upgrade. I think it's a damage upgrade as well, so, you know. Pretty... Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I'll take it, you know. I'll take it. Don't mind me. I'm just standing here gambling wildly, you know. <laughs> I'm just going to stand here and gamble madly and crazily. I mean, we've got lots of money here, which is fine, but I can't really use it. Um, it's not that useful to me. Not at this point. Unless we get... If we get money equals power, then, we're, then we'll be doing well. Mm, pill, what's this? Range up, great. Take it. Always good with a knife, because the knife has got naturally short range. We'll do a little bit here. Hope and hope to get the blood bag. No, we're not. We haven't got the blood bag. Oh, well. Can't risk gambling anymore, unfortunately. So we'll leave that for now. Maybe later we might come back. That was brilliant. Oh, little maggot. Blah. Most of the enemies spawn maggots here, which is not nice. They're actually quite difficult to see. They're very tiny sprites. They're not these maggots. They're really tiny maggots. Uh, common cold is quite good. The tonsil is quite good. It gives you um, an occasional um, poison effect. It's only occasional, though. It's not, it's not all the time. Oh, hello. That's good. Oh! I don't know what it is, but sausage. All stats up. Brilliant. I'll take it. I'll take it. Tears up and help. Brilliant. Oh my. That was an amazing secret room. My god, that was brilliant. That's put us right on top. These things spawn maggots, for example. Let's not. See, they're the maggots, the little ones. Look. And they can actually become those flies, so you've got to be really careful with them. Ew. They're yeah, horrible. But given the effects uh, and damage we've got going on, really not that big a deal. And most of them are going for the punching bag anyway, so it's fine. Mm, not bad, not bad. Ooh, haven't seen these things before. Lots of maggots in this room, which is fine. They're kind of... Ooh, ooh, a library. Oh my god, this could be it. This could be the thing that puts us over the edge. If there's a satanic bible in here, or a book of revelations, satanic bible, brilliant, brilliant. And we can also get, let's pick these up, because now we'll get the bookworm, yes, which will up our damage. Awesome. That's brilliant. Well, we're going to abandon the dice now, unfortunately, but uh, it's done as well, has it not? It served us very, very well um, in this run.
yeah, I mean, you know, I doff my cap to the dice. It's done very well for us this time round. Ooh. Oh, God, these things are gross. Ah, well, that was annoying. Oh, well. It's fine, though, because we've got... Ooh, this is good. Oh, this is a horrible room. Okay, we're going to have to... Oh, dear. We are maybe going to have to bite a bullet here. That's fine. What have we got? What's in the challenge room? Let's have a look. Anything good? Mm, could be. I'll take it. I'll take it. Poison bombs could be very good. It could give us a little bit of extra damage against the boss, so I'll, I'll take that. I mean, if I still had the dice, it'd be a reroll pedestal, but um, that's fine. I mean, we, we don't really need any reroll pedestals anymore. We're, we're running high. We've got good health. Good, I mean, good. We've got amazing health. And ama uh, it's easily some of the best damage I've ever had in Isaac. So, yeah, pretty good. All told, not bad. The only thing I could think of that I would want now is a uh, battery. Some sort of battery upgrade for the uh, the Book of Revelate. <sighs> what are you going to give us? Pandora's box? Ooh! Well, I'll take them both. Damage? Another damage upgrade. Friggin' hell, that's crazy. That is crazy bananas, that is. Psycho Bonk is crazy. That's what that is. <laughs> Ew, I've never seen these things before. They're unpleasant. Oh, they generate flies. They've got to die. Okay. I will go back and pick up the Cracker Jacks. Oh, well, uh, do we need it? Not really. God, this, yeah, this guy has not got a chance. He's actually, he's not that hard a boss at the best of times, this guy, but he's, he's done you know he is oh my god are you kidding me the mark another damage upgrade this is getting silly now i'll take it you know uh, it's not as good as the tonsil i'll tell you you know not in this circumstance under other circumstances it would be yeah this is bonkers now okay corpse two so Really, all we're trying to do is find the boss. That's pretty much it. There is, there's no item here. Um, unless we get lucky, we might, you know, some room might generate one. Um, but that's it. We are just trying to find the boss and kill it. Which, of course, is still good. Oh, hello. All right, we'll take it. Still easier said than done. Oh, hello. Lots of zombies. And one that generates um, maggots. Nice. And another one. Same room, but inverted. Do you mind? Bloody hell, look at it chucking maggots out of its neck. Ah, I don't even need it at this point. Well, I mean, yeah, there's no point in that at the moment, unless we're going to gamble ourselves silly. Um... Oh, there's the boss, so, you know. No point in taking unnecessary risks. Um, uh, I'll take the quarter, just, just because I, I can't not, yeah, I can't resist it. Okay, let's do it. Let's just do it. Here it is. Now, this thing is so difficult. But, we may be able to destroy, certainly, its first form very quickly. Yep, there we go. There's its first form done. Second form is going to be more difficult. Ugh, big, pustulant brimstone. Look at this. This is crazy. This is why you need the damage that we've got when you face this boss. It's almost impossible to evade most of its attacks. Look at this. It fills the screen with bullets. It is such a bullet hell boss. But with the damage we've got, we might do it. We might just win through. It's going to be by the skin of our teeth though, look. It's dead. We've done it. We've done it. Yes! We've got a, we've got a new ending. 
Haven't seen this ending before. Oh, wow. Oh, it's voice acted! Isaac, let me see it. Oh dear. Give it to me now. This is what you think of me? This is what I am to you? A monster? No, no, Mom, I just... After all I've done for you, this is how you view me? You think I'm a monster, Isaac? I'll show you a monster! No, 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 me! You are just like your father. I can't even look at you. Oh. You are just like him. Oh, that's so sad. Oh. Oh, it's the Baphomet statue. Oh, dear. Oh, that's so sad. I mean, it was sad before, but that ma somehow that makes it worse. The animation, the voice acting. Oh, I might have to put a content warning at the beginning of that, because that's difficult to watch. That, that was brilliant. Oh, that's creepy. very disturbing. I loved that. But that's not the end. There are other flaws, other bosses, other endings. Oh, that's very disturbing, isn't it? Ed McMillan, you and your team, they are, you know, not only are you superb at creating games, you are, you have the most wonderfully twisted imagination. I love it. I love it to bits. Oh, wow. Now, let's see what we've unlocked. Loads, I imagine. Meat Cleaver. Ooh. Jacob and Esau. Challenge 39. Challenge 40. A strange door has appeared in the depths. Well, my loves, maybe when we come back, maybe we'll find out what that strange door is all about, eh? Until then, bye-bye.